Our next example of how to draw Lewis structures is going to be chloramine, which is NH2Cl. How do we draw that? Well, first of all, let's find out what kind of atoms we're dealing with. The nitrogen atom, it has five valence electrons, so we'd like to have three more. It's likely that it's going to make three bonds. Chlorine has seven valence electrons, so it has a tendency of only making one bond, and hydrogen has only one valence electron, but it only can hold a maximum of two in its, in its uh, valence band, so it expected to make one bond. On top of that, nitrogen, besides hydrogen, of course, hydrogen is not going to be a central structure, nitrogen has the lowest electronegativity between nitrogen and chlorine, so we expect that to be the central member of the molecule. Also, it has only five valence electrons, again, it's the best candidate. So it's very likely that we'll have nitrogen in the middle, chlorine on one side, and hydrogen on the other side. Again, why didn't hydrogen bond with chlorine on this side? Because chlorine is only going to make one bond, very likely, which means one bond with nitrogen, and doesn't have an extra electron to share to bond with something like hydrogen. So this is the more likely scenario. Since nitrogen needs three bonds to end up with eight valence electrons, we expect the molecule to look like that. So, one of the chlorine electrons already used for the bonds, it has a total of seven, that means six more, which will be free electrons like this, not associated with any kind of bonding. Uh, hydrogen, it uses single electron to, be, to make a bond with nitrogen. Now notice, nitrogen started with five electrons, it already used three to make these bonds, that means it has two more, and so there's another pair of electrons along into nitrogen like that. So nitrogen now has the correct number of electrons. Notice that the total number of valence electrons, so here times two, that would make it 14 valence electrons. All right, so let's see if everything works out. Notice that chlorine, between those six and those two, part of the time it has eight, so that octet rule is followed. Two, four, six plus two is eight for nitrogen. The octet rule is followed there. And hydrogen, part of the time will have two. This hydrogen, part of the time will have two. So it looks like the octet rule is followed. We're good there. Octet rule, we're good to go on that one. How about the amount of electrons used in all the bonding? We should have a total of 14. Notice that chlorine has six free ones, and so does nitrogen has two. So it would be six plus two, plus the number of electrons used in the bonding, two, four, six. So plus 6, like that, so that's 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 2 is 14, 14 adds up to 14, you're good to go there as well. So it looks like we have the right Lewis structure here for chloramine NH2Cl. So that's how we do that.